Welcome to the Birmingham Public Library database tutorials. Today we will cover how to do a basic search in the EBSCO master file. To start using the EBSCO database, you will need to connect to the library's website at www.bplonline.org. Once on the library webpage, click on the database link located at the top right hand corner of the page to access the databases. There are a variety of ways to access our databases. One way is using the Quick Links drop-down. Click on the drop-down menu to see a list of our databases in alphabetical order. Scroll down and choose EBSCO Master File Premier from the list and click Go. Patrons accessing the library databases remotely will be asked to provide their name and library card number. Once this information is entered, click Submit to access the database. Once on the EBSCO page, you will notice the top of the screen has a search box to add your search words. The bottom features a variety of search options that you can use to better control your search results. If you already know that you want to limit your search to full text articles, you can do this here. Simply click in the checkbox to limit to full text articles only. Let's say you wanted to do a search on global warming. Enter your search terms into the search box, click the search button, and a list of results will soon appear on the screen. The center of the screen shows our search results. Here you can see the article titles, citation, and whether it is full text or not. Since we chose full text, all of these articles will have the full text available. Using the drop down at the top of the list, you can sort by date, source, or relevance. A quick way to see details of your results is to use the magnifying glass icon to view the basic citation followed by the abstract which summarizes the article. To see full text of the article, click on the PDF full text link. Once open, you can read the article, print it, save it, or email it to yourself. Clicking on the article title will display the complete citation information followed by the abstract. From here you could also print email, or save the document, or see the citation information in MLA, APA, and other citation formats. The right part of the screen gives you a number of search limit options, so you can use these to focus the search results a little more. These limits include limiting by date, which can be useful if you were looking for the most current coverage for your topic. The far left of the screen gives you links to narrow your search results by source type, subject, or publication. Click on the link to narrow your search. Let's click on periodicals. Once clicked, the results will be filtered so that only the periodicals will be listed. If this is ongoing research, you may wish to be updated with a new article that matches your search has been added. You can set up an RSS feed to this search by clicking on the Create RSS Feed icon. Then select how you would like to receive updates and save your alert. This concludes our tutorial on how to do a basic search in EBSCO master file. If you have questions concerning this or any other library database, please contact us at 205-226-3600 and we will be happy to assist you.